In this video, we'll discuss the latest laser weapon developed by the United States, recently showcased during its latest testing phase. The demonstration revealed how this advanced laser system can effectively destroy various targets with remarkable precision. Operating at incredible speeds with exceptional accuracy, this laser weapon leverages cutting-edge technology, making it thousands of times more powerful and efficient than previous laser systems. Beyond its offensive capabilities, this weapon also serves as a defensive shield, protecting U.S. allies and partners. Since the 1960s, the race to develop laser weaponry has intensified, aiming to gain superiority over traditional armaments. Laser beams travel at the speed of light, making them virtually impossible to evade, especially in aerial combat. Unlike conventional weapons, laser systems produce no recoil, and their ammunition is only limited by the energy source. Additionally, the cost per shot is incredibly economical, around 99 cents making it a cost-effective solution, even for billion-dollar military installations. Before the advent of this new super laser, the U.S. military had already deployed several laser-based combat systems, each with unique features and capabilities. One notable example is the Boeing YAL-1, a laser system integrated into a modified Boeing 747-400F. Designed to intercept and destroy cruise missiles, including those with nuclear warheads, the Boeing YAL-1 project has played a critical role in advancing laser weapon technology due to rapid innovations in the field. The Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program, which focuses on developing sixth-generation fighter aircraft, also incorporates powerful laser warheads similar to the technology used in the Boeing YAL-1. These advanced laser weapons are engineered to eliminate airborne targets and disable enemy power plants and nuclear reactors, located deep within hostile territories. Manufacturing a single laser weapon installation for the U.S. Army takes about nine months, with production facilities based in McKinney, Texas, the site of the first laser weapon plant built to support Army requirements. Additionally, ground forces employ laser-based systems, like the Maneuver Short Range Air Defense M -Shorat. Mounted on the Stryker A18x8 armored vehicle, this system features a 50 kW laser weapon, advanced radar, beam control systems, and targeting guidance. M-Shorad is capable of intercepting mortars and mines during intense artillery barrages, thanks to its active radar seeker. It can also engage ground and aerial threats using longbow Hellfire missiles. Another tactical system is the 10 kW laser mounted on pickup trucks, designed for ground operations. This mobile system can destroy drones on the front lines while maneuvering to strategic positions in remote areas effectively neutralizing reconnaissance and kamikaze drone. Its operational advantage lies in disrupting enemy data collection efforts, thereby compromising their strategic planning and causing significant losses. Furthermore, the U.S. has also developed sea-based laser systems. Lockheed Martin, for instance, has created the Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance Helios system which uses high-energy laser technology to enhance naval combat capabilities. This system integrates both offensive and defensive functions, providing the Navy with superior control over maritime threats. This system is installed on the USS Preble destroyer and is already operational. However, it's important to note that the Helios laser weapon has a power output of 60 kilowatts, enabling it to effectively destroy optical or lightweight slow-moving targets such as drones. This capability reduces the reliance on more expensive missile systems. Meanwhile, the USS Portland has been equipped with a 150 kilowatts laser weapon which was tested at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico before being deployed on the ship. The USS Portland's laser can neutralize low-flying drones, missiles, aircraft, and other complex targets with high precision. Recently, the U.S. has also introduced the Indirect Fire Protection Capability High Energy Laser IFPC Hell system, boasting an impressive power output of 300 kilowatts. 
This power enhancement is achieved by combining multiple low-energy laser beams into a single, more powerful beam. In addition to these advancements, tactical ultra-short pulse lasers have been developed under the Advanced Tactical Laser Optical System Talos project. These lasers represent a significant leap forward compared to systems like the Yao One, M Shorad, or even IFPC Hell. The tactical ultra short pulse laser has a peak power of up to 1000 megawatts, making it thousands of times more powerful than any existing laser weapon. It requires just a quadrillionth of a second to obliterate its target. Unlike Lockheed Martin's continuous wave lasers, which need to maintain contact with the target for at least 5 seconds to melt its surface, the ultra-short pulse laser delivers rapid bursts of energy at frequencies between 20 and 50 pulses per second. Instead of melting drones or missiles slowly, it vaporizes the target's outer shell almost instantly. These pulse lasers are less affected by atmospheric conditions like smoke, fog, or plasma clouds, maintaining their effectiveness even when engaging fast-moving targets such as hypersonic missiles. Remarkably, these lasers operate silently, emitting only a faint hissing sound quite different from the dramatic laser blasts often depicted in science fiction films. With an effective range of several hundred miles, they offer a stealthy yet powerful defense capability. Despite advancements made through collaborative projects like Talos, which involve international partnerships to develop laser weapons, significant challenges remain. While nuclear fusion is currently considered the most potent energy source, it often leads to hazardous chain reactions. As an alternative, scientists are exploring subatomic energy events like quark fusion, which could generate even more energy without the risks associated with traditional fusion processes. American and European scientists are actively working on developing fusion reactors, marking a significant technological and scientific breakthrough. Due to the complexity of quark synthesis, a separate video will cover this topic in detail. According to conservative Pentagon officials, laser weapons represent the future of military technology. The rapid development of these systems demonstrates the potential for combat platforms armed with advanced laser weaponry. However, there are notable limitations to consider. First, Ultra-short pulse lasers emit electromagnetic radiation, which, while invisible and undetectable to the human eye, can still be tracked by enemy radar. Second, laser weapons cannot penetrate physical barriers such as walls or mountains, unlike artillery shells, or ballistic missiles capable of striking concealed targets from long distances. Don't forget to subscribe for more information on the evolving landscape of defense technologies.